How's it going everybody? Derek here from Addictive Tips and in this video we're going to be talking about how to install Canboard. So Canboard is another Trello type project manager board. It's uh, it's similar to WeCan except you can't install it with a snap package. Instead you have to install it like a PHP application. So I have my trusty uh, Ubuntu server that I run Minecraft on and uh, right off the bat before we do anything I really need you to enable the Ubuntu universe package. So do this, you know, and enable universe on your server. For for whatever reason, the P, one of the PHP modules that we need needs to be installed that way. And uh, once that's added to the server, you can let it refresh, and then we can install the dependencies. And in my testing, uh, the we can, sorry, not we can, we're talking about a different one, uh, Canboard, uh, excuse me, Canboard, doesn't have documentation listed out for what they have for their packages so you're going to need to enable universe so please enable universe so once the universe repo is enabled you can go to my article and paste the dependencies right here now where is it the problem package this is the problem package and this is what we need to universe for because it will not install without it so once that's all gone and uh, you set that up, you can just press the enter key and it will go through and install all of our PHP and Apache and everything that we need. All right, so the dependencies are installed now. We can start with the installation of the software. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to move to the HTML folder. And now you can probably delete the index file if you'd like. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, you're going to need to gain root access. So on Ubuntu, there's no su, so you have to do sudo s. Wait for that to let you enter your password and gain access. Now that you've got root, download the latest version of Canboard with wget. When you run the ls command, you can do unzip. You might have to install it though. I don't think my my system has unzip, but I uh, just unzip the folder with Canboard, unzip the Canboard zip, sorry, and then we can do mv Canboard and set that as Canboard. So now we have the Canboard folder. The next step is to update the permissions and shown everything. My mistake. Now we have to delete the zip file. And while we're at it, I'm going to delete the index file. All right, so now everything's installed. We can find our IP address with IP ADDR show. And then this is the IP address for my server. So I can take this, I can go to a new web tab, a new web browser tab, excuse me, and uh, just paste the URL here. And uh, as you can see, this is my Canboard folder. So if I do Canboard, it should automatically give me access. And I can sign up and log in. And this is running Ubuntu 18.04. So if you see the instructions on the website and they said that there's no way to get it working, well, there is. So there you go. And uh, from here, you just got to sign up. And uh, the admin and password, I think there's a default account, which we'll go over in a second here. You can have users come in and sign up, but to start off, you're going to need to log in with admin and admin, and that's going to give you access to the default password setup here, and your projects and your tasks and everything, you can create a new project and all that. I, I really like Handboard, so if you don't like using WeCan, you want to host something PHP on a server, I recommend doing it on a VM because you can create snapshots and stuff. But if you want to set it up on a different kind of web system like a VPS, that's welcome too. Just I would recommend Ubuntu because Ubuntu generally gets the best support from these kind of things. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative. If you are a fan of the Kanban style project management, I highly recommend it. Anyways, I will see you in the next video.